Tasha Savage. I'm a junior at Warwick Fence, and I play for the Warwick Co-op Lakeland Titans. I've been playing hockey for 13 years, and I've been on many different teams. These past few years, however, have taught me more than I can even explain. Not only learning and developing as a hockey player, but more importantly, my teammates and coaches have taught me life lessons and morals that I will carry on with me forever. On this team, I was lucky enough to win two championships, one in Division I and the other in Division II. This past season, however, around the midpoint, things weren't going really so good. We went on a seven-game losing streak, and instead of giving up, my team persevered and we flipped the switch. By the time playoffs reached, we were unstoppable. We won quarterfinals, and then we won semifinals. I've known most of the seniors on my team since I was five years old. And due to our hard work, dedication, and pure love for the game, we were given another opportunity and a chance to win a state championship one last time together. We prepared all week, skated hard, went over plays, and the day of the first championship game finally came. In school, concentration was impossible. So I was relieved when I heard the announcement at the end of the day that said, can all girl hockey players report to the cafeteria? Unaware of the news I was about to be given, I was expecting maybe a pep talk or maybe a good luck from a principal. I'm pretty sure most of you can guess what that talk was really about. At 1.30, Friday afternoon, two and a half hours before our bus was due to leave, my team was informed that the state championship was suspended and we would soon learn that we were disqualified. We were all devastated that our adults were taking away our chance to win another championship. However, rather than looking for someone to blame for making an unintentional error, we came together and exemplified all the lessons we were taught over the years. We stayed together for days and kept up hope that adults would see the unfairness in taking our dream away for a simple error. When the decision became final on Monday, we continued to support each other and our coaches. We became even closer, and it was obvious that we were going to be a family for life. We had to come together with our families, teammates, coaches, and fans in a time when it seemed as people saw us as cheaters. In a twisted way, I truly believe that our disqualification was a, gr was a greater reward than any trophy could give us. We learned that sometimes life doesn't always go the right way. We learned that no matter how bad things seem, it's what you make of it that really matters. We learned in hard times, it's your closest peers who can help you overcome. We learned that people in positions of power sometimes see things in black and white rather than look for the nuance within the gray. We learned to fight for what you believe is right. We learned that the strength you gain from pain will last longer than the joy from winning. And we learned what it really means to be a team. I am forever grateful to call myself a lady titan, and I couldn't be any more proud of what my team has accomplished and the character we demonstrated.